Hi YouTube viewers, Eric from v -Style. Today we have here a 2017 Toyota RAV4 XLE Hybrid. We're going to be installing the phone mirroring system which works both for iPhone and Android devices. But today we're going to be installing the iPhone one. And on top of that, uh, our, our kit will allow video in motion um, and also navigation in motion. So let's not waste any time. Let's get started right away. The first step is to remove this trim piece up above here. I'm gonna start off by grabbing a hold of this corner and just slowly releasing the clips as I go inside. Okay, next step, I'm gonna be pulling off these two vents. It's only being held by a clip, so just gently get a hold of it and just remove it very carefully by pulling it towards you. Okay, now that those two vents are removed, we're gonna remove this piece over here. This, it's, um, it has a hazard and it also has an indicator for your airbags and the seat belts. Okay, once you have this pulled out, there's a connector here, disconnect this. Okay, now that we have the panels around it removed, you'll find that there's four 10 millimeter bolts here. Grab a hold of your 10 millimeter socket wrench with an extension, and you will be removing it one by one. Okay, before we pull out the radio, we wanna mask tape the area under it so that we don't scratch it. Okay, once you have this bottom area mask tape, we're gonna pull this out. We're gonna set this blanket under the radio. We're gonna set it on there so that we could work on the connectors behind it. There we go. The following are the components that's included with the IF02 EP kit is everything you see on this side. So we have here the additional iPhone components that we need to purchase separately. And if you wanted to mirror an Android device instead of an Apple device, then you will need to get um, wireless phone mirroring system such as the one you see here. This is the one by Netgear. It works great. We have tested it. But unfortunately, there are no wireless mirroring system for iPhones that we could find. So as you can see, the connector on this video input piece and the DVD and navigation and motion piece is identical. So you can connect them ahead of time together. And the other end of the RCA cable is gonna connect to this male-to-male -male joint connector, which is gonna be connected to the HDMI to AV adapter. Double check to make sure the color codes do match. So the white to white, red to red, and then the yellow to yellow. Okay, and then on the other end of um, this HDMI to AV adapter, we're gonna connect the, the HDMI male to male joint connector. And to power this HDMI to AV adapter, we're gonna connect this USB cable to this USB socket. And this USB um, power is going to be connected on this bullet connectors to red to red and black to black. And after all the components from the IF02 is connected, get a hold of your pro the products that you bought you purchased separately. So here's the lightning AV adapter. The lightning AV adapter will connect to the other side of this HDMI male connector which is going to connect to the extension, lightning cable extension cable, because this is too short to be able to route to the inside of the car. The other cable we have here is the lightning charger cable. You simply connect it from the lightning AV cable, and the other end will connect to this USB. Okay, and the only thing left here is just this connector and this connector that is not plugged. So once we get in the car, we're gonna plug this behind the radio and whatever was plugged there before, we're gonna plug it here. We're gonna daisy chain it. Same for this plug over here. And there's also this ground wire that we need to ground on the side of this radio system. And then the button over here, there's an NP and TV. We're gonna wanna keep it on TV. Uh, for vehicles that have factory nav, this has to be accessible. So you're also gonna have to route this to where it is reachable from the driver's side. Um, because every time you want to bypass and 
Do your phone mirror, you want it to be on TV, but when you're not phone mirror, you want to have it at MP so that your factory navigation will work without any issues or without the car being stopped on the map. But if you don't have a factory nav, you could keep it at TV and just tuck this behind the radio. All right, now that we have the interface ready over here with everything pre-connected, just um, disconnect this connector and this connector. And it's gonna be just plug and play to our interface. Just daisy chain. Okay. And here's the second connector. And as you can see that there's a ground wire that needs to be grounded. Grab your eight millimeter socket and we're gonna just grab this one over here. Okay, when you're grounding this wire, make sure it is on the actual metal chassis. If it isn't, it will not get good ground and the unit will not work. And now that everything is connected, we wanna route two wires to the side and through the footwell of the driver's side. Those two wire is going to be first the lightning extension cable that you see over here. And then the second one is going to be this button for your video in motion. This is um, your TBK66 button. Before I route the wire, this is how it looks. I disconnected this button off from here. Just very easily, hold on to the clip, pulls right out. Now it's easier to route. So I have the lightning extension cable and also the TVK video in motion switch cable. Okay, so we're gonna route it straight down here to the left. You'll see that there's a little bit of an opening. Once you route the wire this way, it'll look like this. And another thing I did was I went and I removed this piece and I tucked it behind it. It's really easy to pull this piece out. It's just being held by clips. Just pull it towards you, just like that. And then you could tuck these wires behind this and make it come up this way. Okay, once you tucked in all the wires, grab a hold of your button, clip it back on, use the supply double-sided tape, and I'm gonna stick it on somewhere over here. If you'd like to see where the button is, then let's tape it around here. Okay, next step, take some time and just neatly tuck in all the wires and the interface and the connectors behind the radio on the bottom. There's a lot of room down here, so you shouldn't have any problems finding a place for all the additional wires that we just installed. And after you have it tucked nicely inside, just um, reverse order the installation and put your radio back in, all the panels back in. And that concludes the installation, so let's go ahead and do that right now. Now that we put everything back to normal, we're gonna test this out, make sure everything's in working order. You will notice that you have a new icon here that says AV. If you can't see it, uh, make sure you scroll on the bottom and then it should come out. So we're gonna touch the AV and as you can see, the phone is being mirrored. And you can also notice that on the side over here, there's some empty space. It's not a true full screen. So in order to change that, touch screen format and go to stretched and touch this again and now you have the true full screen that you see over here. Um, just a quick test to make sure the sound is working. Um, let's try a YouTube video. Alright, looks like everything is in working order. This concludes today's installation video. If you have any additional questions, please visit us at info at bsonicusa.com and also check out our demonstration video for this vehicle as well on our YouTube page. Thank you.